Back here at the Golki Activity Center, 85-71. to 71, The Wayland Baptist Flying Queens get the victory in the championship game, and we're here with head coach uh, Jason Cooper. And, Coach, congratulations on the championship. Your thoughts on the game today and the tournament as a whole? Well, you know, I'm proud of our girls for um, how they played in the overall tournament, you know, not just tonight. I thought they, you know, played, battled hard tonight, but we had a tough one last night too, and, you know, Friday was no joke either. So to get to this point, you know, and, and win all three games. I think it's a really big accomplishment for any team. You know, there's so many good teams in the SAC. Really a similar script both games here in the semifinals and the finals. Build up a double-digit lead. The opposition comes back, whittles it down to four or three, and you're able to build it back up. Just uh, talk about the resolve of your team to be able to, to withstand those runs. Well, we, you know, the first half in both games, actually, we talked about at halftime, hey, it, it feels like it's hard to score, but we were at 40 both times you know we're averaging about 85 so we knew we, i mean even though it's a struggle we're, we can score points and that's always something we can rely on you know we've got so many girls that you know tonight both edgeman girls and, and and jenna just getting in in the post and scoring you know it's not always that sometimes it's hitting threes and things of that nature we had a timeout around six minutes left in the game and it was real tight and i just told them you know it's a battle of attrition who's going to wear out first you know we got to keep doing what we do don't change what we do and you know the result you know, we've, we've played really well down the stretch all year long. So I felt like, you know, that last five minutes, I felt like, man, we're going to win this. We're, we're going to be, we're going to make the plays. We're going to make the good decisions and get out there and score. Helping that cause is a fact that you have some leaders on this team who are incredibly poised. And you mentioned the Edgemans, but also Jenna Cooper and Angel Hayden. They, they are, they're never rattled. They always are going to perform under pressure. Uh, huge to have even one player like that and it seems like you've got four on this team well you know it, it helps the experience you know we have we have three older girls and then caitlin is just she's so special to be a freshman and so poised but you know angel angel doesn't get a lot of uh of the recognition for everything she does and i mean she is so good so calm under pressure and she's like that in her whole life like she's never rattled like hey if there's a midterm okay no big deal while everybody else is struggling and stressing she just goes and takes care of business and that's how she plays out there on the court. So, yeah, as a coach, you know, like I said, that last five minutes, just like, okay, what do we want to run? I, I asked them at the timeout, what do we feel most comfortable in on offense? And, and you know, that I trust them, and they get out there and get the job done. Your first year as the head coach of this program, come in, they have won the last, four, uh, last uh, three Sooner Athletic Conference tournaments, get the fourth straight, fifth in seven years. What's it like for this to be your first experience as the head coach of this program? Well, you know, it, it's stressful. <laughs> <laughs> a lot less so yeah, now you've, right, you've, you've right. finished it. <laughs> you know, and yeah, I mean, I, I was blessed to, you know, have a couple of really big time returners, you know, and we filled in, we filled in the gaps with some really, you know, good role players, you know, people that understood what they needed to do. And, you know, that I, I, I've always felt like, you know, especially these last 12 games that we've won, we, we just now started to get on a roll. You know, there's a lot of learning, learning me, learning them, learning the system. And I feel like we're just now kind of hitting our stride. But, you know, it's a lot of pressure on them. It's a lot of pressure on me. But I, I always know, you know, I, I feel like we got the two best players in the conference on our team. You know, every, every game we go in, we got the two best players. So we got a shot every game, no matter what's happening. And it's not as if you're a stranger to this program. You, this is your alma mater, and, of course, your daughter has been on the team before you became the head coach. Do, does that give you a certain level of comfort coming into this job? Yes, it does. You know, and I was assistant for three years, you know, back in the early 2000s. And, I, I mean, I love this program. You know, this, this is the job I've always wanted. And, you know, to, to be here and be, be living it, you know, be living that dream of it, you know, it, it, it's so special. The history of the Flying Queen program is second to none. And, you know, like tonight we have the uh, people just show up to our games. We have the leading scorer in Pioneer basketball history down there on the court, you know, cheering us on. And, you know, it's just so special everywhere we go, even when we played in Iowa and we played in Florida this year. We have Flying Queen fans, Flying Queen supporters all over the country. So it's a special place for sure. All right, so what's the outlook as we head into the national tournament now for your, your girls? Well, I feel like, you know, winning the conference outright, winning the conference tournament, that's going to put us, you know, I'm hoping we're up there in the, you know, we're, we're ranked eighth and we're seventh in the, you know, the RPI. So I think that, you know, we'll be up there maybe around six, maybe a little bit higher. So we get to host the first two two games. So I think we're, we're in good shape. Hopefully we can take care of business and, and get to Iowa. All right, Coach, congratulations on the championship today and good luck the rest of the way in the national tournament.